There is clear undeniable proof in the Bible that we've had contact in the past with an advanced race that has guided the development of our civilization. Now, let us slowly read Revelations 21, verse 15 through 17. The angel who talked with me had a measuring rod of gold to measure the city, its gates and its walls. The city was laid out like a square. Pay attention, a square, as long as it was wide. He measured the city with the rod and found it to be 12,000 stadia in length and as wide and high as it is long. So it was 12,000 by 12,000, which would sum up to 144,000 stadia. The angel measured the wall using human measurement and it was 144 cubits thick. This is not the first time this number has showed up in the Bible. Many of you are familiar with the 144,000 redeemed in Revelations, the soul called chosen people who are anointed, who are blessed and protected from the judgment on earth. What many don't know is that 144 is part of the universal language. The universe communicates in frequencies, form and numbers, right? It's a big part of the universe. And 144 can be found again and again within different cycles of nature, right? Like there's 1,440 minutes in a day. Even the measurements that we use today derives from uh, these sacred measurements, right? That our ancestors, they received from these beings, these advanced beings that came from the sky, these so-called angels, right? Angel just mean messenger, emissary, someone that was sent. In one square foot, there's 144 inches. Pay attention to that. It's a number that recurs again and again in nature cycles. The Mayans in their calendar and their sacred sacred calendar, what they call 20 cartoons, right, is 144,000 days. Pay attention. Pay attention. People wear and see certain symbols, but they don't even understand the sacred geometry or the esoteric uh, knowledge behind these symbols. of the Bible, Genesis, comes from an older story from the Sumerians who speak of these gods that came from the sky. Question everything you think you know.